Big news with a super heavy booster, Elon takes some pictures and the tower grows again. Today at Starbase. We didn't have an episode yesterday because honestly there wasn't a ton of news over the weekend and I never want to force an episode if there isn't news. So imagine my relief when I signed into Twitter this morning and saw that Elon had tweeted. Being the head enchilada over at SpaceX does have its perks as Elon Musk recently posted some pictures up close and personal of the super heavy boosters aft section. Elon said that it's getting stacked, which means only one thing, that we're getting closer to that orbital test later this summer. Elon also shared a short video from the top of High Bay, which is where the new high bar will be located. Just look at these sweeping views of the entire assembly yard. It's absolutely amazing, especially with the night lighting. This next discovery confused the space community for a whole 10 minutes. This shot that Jack Byer snagged from Starship production plant shows the top ring of the super heavy booster, where the grid fins will attach. What was off from this picture is the placement of the grid fins. Previously, we've seen renders from SpaceX depicting the grid fins placed at 90 degrees from each other. This equal placement seemed to make sense for maximum control authority of a descending booster, as basically any Falcon 9 can attest to. But in this latest image of actual flight hardware, we can clearly see that these mounting points are spaced in a 60 degree, 120 degree arrangement. So basically they moved each of the fins 15 degrees. If I had to wager a guess, I'd say that these fins move to allow the catching mechanism on the orbital launch tower to catch the booster more easily, but that's just total speculation. The launch tower got its fourth segment over the weekend as SpaceX used the gargantuan Franken crane to lift the segment on top of the third one. Now that might have been news over the weekend and if we know SpaceX is good at one thing, it's speed. As of the making of this video, crews are attaching the load distribution arm on the fifth segment in anticipation of it being lifted early tomorrow morning. That's just insane. We'll see how high this thing can get before Jack and the Beanstalk catch up. Alrighty, that's it for Today at Starbase. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow us on Twitter at Today at Starbase. Godspeed!